have a hip mobility issue and it shows up in your get up, do you keep going or do you fix the problem? Well, That's what you're saying. I want to know how to fix it. It depends on what the problem is exactly. Um, that whole tilting the hips forward thing will let you know if you have that particular mobility issue. And is that the being able to, to open the legs up is a problem in mobility that a lot of people have. Particularly in this day and age, because like Rick was talking about earlier, you sleep like this, you get up, eat your breakfast, you drive your car, you get on your computer, you drive home, you sit and play a video game, and then one day you realize that you're a pathetic turd and you need to do something with your life. So you're like, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna start exercising so I wake up, I eat my breakfast, I get in my car, I go to work and I do my thing, I get in the car, I drive to the gym, I get on a stationary bike, and I do some curls, and I do some bench presses, and then I go home and play my video games. <laughs> I'm reinforcing the problem, right? Because I'm doing bench presses and curls because like Rip said, that's what I see in the mirror. Very few people are working with extension. But if you decide to go to Tracy's swing class, next thing you know, you get out of your car, you go in, you do a bunch of swings, and then you go home and you eat your dinner and you feel good about life, right? <laughs> the problem with opening the hips up that way that I see primarily comes from endurance athletes. Runners, cyclists, people who operate with their hips on train tracks. And so, I call this particular thing, this is one of the few things that is an original name of mine, I call it a runner's hip in the ghetto. They'll bridge out, they'll try to come up on the toe, and then they'll work that foot back like that. They're like, this hurts my back. I'm like, it hurts my back. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've worked with people who are so disconnected from being able to open their hips up, that the idea of being able to bring your hip that way is foreign to their body. It's like the reaction. Anybody having that, feel like they're having that same trouble that they wind up here? It's kind of where you were earlier, right? Yeah. Instead of here? Right. Anybody else? Maybe. Yeah? A few of you? I'm, I'm fixing to fix it. That's country talk for a minute. I'm about to correct your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody join me here. Even if you're already good with this, everybody join me here. So the hips are tilted forward, shoulder blades are pulled down and back, chest stuck out. You're proud you're doing yet, that's right? That's right. Take the uh, left foot and put it next to the right ankle. Raise the hips up slightly and bring, drag that knee right on back. Look down, you have your straight line from your left hand to your left knee to your left foot. If you don't, make the adjustment. Is your right leg vertical? If you don't make that adjustment, let's bring it back through and sit down. So start over again. We're out here. Hips are tilted forward. Shoulder blades down and back. Bring the foot in. Bring the hips up. Slide it back through. See what I'm doing is I'm forcing you to keep your knees open, right? Bring it back through. If this position is off, the whole thing falls apart. You can't do this from here. It has to be from here. So each step of this builds on the step that precedes it. And it all starts with rolling over onto your side. Bring the foot in, bring the hips up, bring the knee through. Good, come to half kneeling. Now when we get here, by the way, that's, that should fix that for you from now on if you think about it. When we get here, I want to talk about angles for a second so you guys can relax a little bit. This is a collection of 90 degree angles done properly. I'm not in perfect alignment right now because I'm not all 90 up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in perfect alignment. I've got this front ankle is 90 degrees. This knee also 90 degrees. This hip 90 degrees. On the back side, angle's 90 degrees, bottom hip is 90 degrees. The only angle that's not 90 degrees is right here. And this should be straight. So, if this isn't straight, I'm slightly in flexion that way, and that's bad. That's when you go to stand up and this happens to you. So we're gonna bring that hip underneath. And then the one that everybody misses, the final 90 degrees is from this leg to the hips, right here. If I'm like this, 
I'm no longer at 90 degrees. I'm not as strong as I can be to stand up. So everything's at 90 degrees. So join me. Nine get up. Now some of you, when you get this straight one straight, push that forward just a little bit, squeeze that glute on the straight leg, put a little bit of a stretch in that quad on the front. It's an indicator. Let's stand up. And let's take it back down. Now who sees the relationship between standing with the hips and extension? get up and the top part of the swing. Everybody? Yes. Who sees the direct relationship between standing up in the top of the get up, standing up in the top of the swing, and this hip right here in this position? It's the same. It's hip extension. If this is happening, it's just like this being the top of your swing. It ain't gonna fly. Make sense? Sir. See how after a minute or two it all turns into the same thing? It's all swings and get-ups. 